I was 25 when I finally got my first horse, and his name was Snoop. He was just such a kind, gentle, patient horse, and we had a true bond. It was August 25th of 2013, early, early in the morning. It was a Sunday morning, and uh, my phone rang, and it was my horse trainer. And at first, I was just gonna like let it go to voicemail because it was really early. And then reality started to set in. And I knew that he wasn't calling just to touch base. Something was wrong. So I picked up the phone and he said, I don't know how to tell you this, but Snoop is gone. It's one of the hardest days of my life. Snoop was more than just another horse. He was my, my friend, he was my partner in crime, and I've never seen him again. Snoop died from a really severe colic episode in the middle of the night, and despite having caretakers that lived above the barn, they didn't hear him thrashing, and he died a really painful death, and he didn't deserve that. A few weeks after Snoop's passing, Jeff and I were speaking and he just said that he was tired of we as an equine community just accepting the fact that horses uh, get injured or pass while humans aren't around. And if humans could intervene quick enough, they could have a very different outcome. So that's how Nightwatch started to come to be. A few months ago, I got a new horse. His name's Sherlock. And I'm so grateful to have Nightwatch on him so that I do have that peace of mind when I'm not there. This is something that truly moves the needle on equine survival. This is something that has the potential to save your horse's life so that you don't have to go through what I did.